Here at the piano shop in Bath, we are frequently asked about the differences between two best-seller pianos which we traditionally keep in stock, the Kawai K300 and the Yamaha U1. The reason that there is so much interest in these two pianos is because of their reputation and the fact that they appear to be so similar and perform equally well. However, these two types of pianos are quite different in a number of ways. But before we start, let's introduce ourselves at the piano shop, especially in the context of the broad range of pianos that we always have in our showroom. Hi, it's Rob Lawton here at the Piano Shop in Bath. And this is a comparison video which I want to present to you. And it's going to present to you fundamentally two pianos. One is the Yamaha U1, and the second one is the Kawai K300. And a lot of people ask us about what are the differences are between these pianos, and there's certainly a lot of interest about precisely what the differences are. Uh, we have a lot of experience with um, different pianos of different types of this ilk, um, such as a Petrov P125, we have Beckstein and Broadwood painted uprights, absolutely wonderful instruments. This is a Boston Steinway upright, the model 118. Here is a Blutner model D. A beautiful 1924 Blutner, a Beckstein upright in mahogany gloss, and many John Broadwood uprights. Yes, we've got a large selection to compare with, but consistently the Kawai K300 and the Yamaha U1, which are both exactly the same height and highly comparable pianos, are seen as two favourites within the shop. A major consideration, however, is a new Yamaha U1 piano is very much more expensive than a new Kawai piano. What has happened over the past 10 years with the piano marketplace is that customers have recognised the superb quality of well-established Yamaha pianos, whilst also recognising the amazing playability of the emerging Kawai range. There has therefore developed a pivotal market focus on 1980s and 90s manufactured Yamaha U1s versus brand new Kawai K300s. Regarding the Yamaha U1, all of our Yamaha U1s have been carefully sourced and our expert technicians work their way through a whole raft of technical and quality considerations to ensure that the final product on the shop floor is deemed to be as good as new. Most customers can't believe that they are comparing a 25-year-old Yamaha piano with a brand new Kawai. That's the credit we give to the quality of the Yamaha pianos and skill of the technicians to ensure optimum performance and product finish. So how do Kawai manage to manufacture a comparable piano to the Yamaha for such an attractive price? Well, this comes down to manufacturing technology, material choice and outsourcing. Let's look at two short videos. First of all, let's look under the bonnet and delve into Kawai's award-winning Millennium 3 Action. ABS Carbon is a relatively new composite material created by the infusion of carbon into Kawai's existing ABS Styron. ABS Carbon is incredibly sturdy and rigid, which allows Kawai to make the action parts lighter without sacrificing strength, resulting in greater power with less effort. The lighter design allows for the Millennium 3 action to be played tremendously fast and effortlessly by the pianist. 
The repetition and responsiveness is superb, offering an excellent increase in the musician's control during playing. Regarding durability, ABS Actions parts are up to 90% stronger than wood-based equivalents and virtually unaffected by climate conditions. And as for playability, ABS Action parts are lighter than their conventional wooden equivalents, performing up to 25% faster, as previously stated, for increased repetition and playing speed. A particular improvement has been the adoption of underfelted hammers, which offers improved longevity of hammerheads many, many decades further down the piano's lifetime. Kawhi is constantly making technical improvements in order to ensure that manufacturing quality is maintained and enhanced. And 1980s and 90s Yamahas are treated quite differently, as our technicians have to ensure their performance by inspecting, testing and assuring that the used Yamaha U1s are in tip-top condition. The U-series pianos that the piano shop offers to our customers are generally manufactured in the 80s and 90s or later, which was certainly Yamaha's peak production years. All Yamaha U-series uprights have an important action component called the loop chord. There are 88 loop chords, one per key, uh, in all Yamaha U-series, and their job is to ensure that each key returns to its resting position as quickly as possible after being played via a small hooked spring. Without properly functioning loop chords, the piano's performance will feel sluggish, such that the action will hinder good playing. Furthermore, as they break, they will make the piano action inconsistent from key to key. Loop chords can have a lifespan of as little as 20 years, depending on the environment. The piano shop in Bath always ensures that these items are changed, if suspected of being near end of life in order that we can ensure that there are decades of life left. Yamaha's U1 series pianos can certainly be considered as an industry standard. The U1 has an excellent bass, refined middle and crystal clear treble. It is not only one of the world's most popular upright pianos, but it is a top seller worldwide. Again, let me reiterate, this is by no accident. All Yamaha U-Series feature a solid spruce soundboard and many material choices adapted from Yamaha's range of grand pianos. The majority of our pianos will be black ebony, but occasionally we have other finishes that enter our stock. The U-Series is ideally suited to schools, teachers, homes or even small studios. A great part of Yamaha's success was the fact that they put so much design effort into ensuring that their pianos would cope with very dry, very humid and very fluctuating environments. It is for this reason that there are so many Yamahas of this period on the market today, providing a second wave of piano sales. Now let's address the similarities. The main one is external appearance. They are both classical in design and sometimes very difficult to tell apart. Both pianos are virtually identical in terms of height, width, depth and weight. Here are their comparative dimensions. Even the length of the longest strings are within a centimetre of each other. Both piano types have three pedals, the middle one being the silent or practice pedal, which adds a felt damper between the hammers and the strings to significantly quieten the piano when practicing or being played during non-social hours. Now let's address some key differences. First of all, the length of Kawhi's music stand is considerably longer, which some teachers and musicians really do prefer. The new Kawais have a soft, full keyboard lid. We should add that new Yamaha pianos also have long music stands and soft, full keyboard covers, but we're actually comparing the new Kawais to the older Yamahas, which don't. As for performance and playability, this is a personal matter, and we ask our customers to make their own assessment. First of all, let's hear the Kawai K300 being played, followed by the Yamaha 
you want. This is the Kawai K300. This is the Yamaha U1. It's quite difficult to judge the sound and playability over the internet, even though both pianos are being played under similar conditions, using the same recording techniques. It's for this reason that we ask you to visit us and try both pianos out, side by side, in the same room, so that you can be the best judge. We are sure that when you compare both pianos with other well-known makes that we always have in our showroom, that you will be very pleasantly surprised by the quality of the Kawai and Yamaha pianos we have on the showroom and will appreciate why these two pianos are market favourites. Thank you for your time. We look forward to seeing you.